Hi, welcome to my channel, Imperfect Woman of God. Today I'm going to do a little short little Bible summary of... I'm doing the whole New Testament, so Philippians. I'm on Philippians now. I'm already pretty much done with the whole New Testament. I just got to make a lot of videos. So pretty much um, Philippians is about Paul being released from prison. Um, this letter, this book was actually written to thank the... Um, a thank you letter to encourage, to help and support, also encourage the growth of the people. You know, the Philippians. Um, so chapter one, um, it basically talks about, now I want you to know that, brethren, that my circumstances have turned out for the greater process of the gospel. You know, right? Paul writes about sufferings and through his imprisonment, the kingdom was released. Um, basically, I have some chapters. I just try to pick a random scripture. Two for you, it, okay, so chapter 1, verse 29, verse 30. For you it has been granted for the Christ's sake is not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for his sake. Experiences the same conflict which you saw in me, and now to hear to me in him. Um, that's Luke chapter 14, verse 25, verse 33. Basically, um, Christians are to surrender their lives in the service to Jesus Christ. And what we should you know do is what, what what should we expect in life you know which is suffering sometimes you suffer for choosing to live right to do right by god you might not have friends people might not like you um paul explains that there are also two things granted by god for believers to believe in jesus christ and god and to suffer those are the two things that we should believe in you know i wouldn't say two things but you know that's what paul feel like Chapter 2, Paul explains the benefits of believers in uniting with the mind of Christ. He teaches a theology a lesson of the humility of Jesus as he laid down his glory and became a perfect man in order to rescue mankind. He was explaining the theology of how Jesus died on the cross for us and things like that. So chapter 3, chapter 3, verse 8, I have suffered the loss of all things and count them but rubbish so that I may gain Christ. I feel like right now we're in a place where a lot of people have lost their jobs, their money, and things like that. They feel like they're suffering. But, you know, with God, you have everything. You know, I feel like you're rich at heart in a way when you have God in your life. Paul has joy and encourages the people, the church, to press forward with the gospel. And then you have chapter 4 where he says to offer praise and to give God thanks for many provisions that they are blessed with my God. Chapter 4, verse 19. Supply all your needs. Um, it's going to read some random um, scriptures I have on here. Chapter 2, verse 3. Do nothing from selfish ambition and conceit, but in humility. Account among others more sin significant than yourself. Chapter 2, verse 13. For it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasures. Um, chapter 2, verse 4, do all things without grumbling or disputing. Do, do all things without whining about it, basically. Um, chapter 2, verse 16, holding fast to the word of life so that the day of the Christ I may be poor, that I do not run in vain or labor vain. Um, chapter 4, verse 4, rejoice in the Lord always, and again I will say and rejoice. Chapter 4, verse 6, do not be anxious of anything, but in everything, in prayer and supplication and thanksgiving. Let your response be known in God. I feel like everybody knows that one. Um, chapter 4, 4, verse 13, and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Um, that's pretty much it. That's a very simple. I'm gonna write all my. I'm gonna have all my notes and some in the comment section, some in the description box under my video. Uh, so basically, Paul, this whole thing is about him coming from prison um, and how the Philippians should be happy. And also talking about how Jesus died in a theological way to where he was the only perfect man on earth. You know, describing who he is, what he did, how he gave his life for mankind, um, how they should be joyful. They have to understand, they have to believe in two things. To believe in Jesus Christ died for them, believe in God, and realize sometimes you have to suffer for your um, choosing Christ to live in a Christ-like way. Um, and that's pretty much it. All right, yeah. I will write all my summaries in the comment section and also in the description box if you want to see. I get most of my stuff from BibleHub.com, and I'm just trying to make my videos very short to the point. And have a blessed day. You know, understand when you do serve God, sometimes you may suffer. Um, 
you have to believe in Jesus Christ died for your sins. Believe in God and also some and believe also sometimes you have to suffer for doing right by God. That some people may make fun of you, you may get hurt, um, your feelings may get hurt. But God got you because you will be there when God makes that new earth. When uh, we all get up to heaven, um, when we all get those crowns on our head, when we have to fight. Um, so just continue to live in a joyful way and be complacent. I wouldn't say complacent. Um, okay with what you have. Because you never know when you get taken away from you. Because in America, we are blessed. It's just that we're so consumed by material things. But once you get those things taken away, you'll realize that those things really mean nothing. You know, they're just things, honestly. Because I got a lot of stuff taken away and I had to rebuild and gain all the stuff back. And it's just things, people. So have a blessed day. I hope you all are praying, reading your Bible. And that's all I have to say.